this notion of a diversity of opinions is being used as a cover for allowing for hateful speech to be celebrated by the government. Um, this is not uh, about a diversity of opinions. They've actually chosen to celebrate and, uh, you know, award uh, an essay that actually is talking about white nationalist racist theories. This is not about diversity of opinions. It's about saying uh, a refusal by the government to say certain views are not acceptable in a democratic free country. Um, and yet they they clearly, not only did they celebrate and award it, they, they chose it. I mean, this is what we have to be clear about. Uh, if the minister, associate minister is saying it should not have been chosen, well, she was the one who chose it. Her and a panel of her colleagues within the UCP were the judging panel, according to the website and the contest rules, who selected this. So the question is, why is the judge who chose it now saying they shouldn't have chosen it? And then who did? But ultimately, this went up. There are a number of checks and balances that go in place before something is promoted like this, put up on a website that's celebrated, and nobody within the UCP stopped and said, this is inappropriate. This is not the vision for Alberta's future. This is not the vision for Alberta women that we want to celebrate. In fact, it was put up, and the only reason Albertans are aware of it is because my colleague, Janice Irwin, brought it to the attention of Albertans. Otherwise, I think this would have simply, this would have been stood for some time as a celebrated essay on Alberta women.